Jacksmith. Hi, I'm Matt Pierce, host of The Forge. Here we are with our third episode. We've got a great show lined up for you today. Just want to remind you that if you're following along on Twitter, you can use the hashtag TSCForge, and you can always email us at theforge at techsmith.com. Today we're going to be talking with Daniel Park, author of Definitive Guide of Camtasia Studio. We're also going to be talking with Justin Carpenter from our technical support department, Conan Heisel from our, our instructor, instructional designer on Camtasia for Mac, and then we've got a special guest for you that we'll talk about in just a little bit, celebrating a success here at TechSmith. So let's jump right in. Uh, we're glad to have Daniel Park here. Daniel, thank you for joining us. So Hi, Matt. How are you? We're doing great. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. Good. Now, Daniel, I know, you and I have had a chance to talk previously, and we've met each other before, but my guess is not a ton of people know about you and who you are. So why don't you give us a quick uh, background of who you are and what you do? Oh, gosh. Um, I know there's I, so much, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a former TechSmithy. I started at uh, TechSmith in 2000 and stayed there for three years. And um, I'm married to a Spaniard, and she made it clear to me that if I wanted to marry her, that eventually I would have to go back to Spain with her one day. Hence, so that's why we're I having a Skype conversation. Three. <laughs> and... Um, uh, started my own consultancy specializing in screencasting. So I work as a professional screencaster and training, do training on Camtasia Studio and um, other multimedia tools. And I got approached a few years later about writing a book about Camtasia Studio. Um, it was back on version three of Camtasia Studio at the time, and um, took me about a year to finish that, and I've been cranking them out ever since. So, so let's talk about the book a little bit. Um, when you were sure. first putting it together, what what was your goal in trying to achieve with you know a, a book on Camtasia? What what did you hope to convey to people that were going to read that book? Uh, I wanted it to sort of serve two masters. First, as a training tool. Um, which is why I sort of had separate breakout boxes uh, outlining procedures that people should follow and not just a rehash of the documentation, but, you know, true workflow suggestions, taking in my years of experience as a professional screencaster doing this day in, day out, every single day. Um, you know, I thought that there was a lot I could convey to people uh, to help them refine how they work with the product so that they're not fumbling around with all kinds of funky trial and error and weird workarounds uh, because I've refined that over the years. So I wanted it to be a good training tool. And this is why I put exercises at the end of every chapter, for example. But I also wanted it to serve as a really good reference work which is why I was always very insistent with the publisher that we need to have a really, you know, uh, a very kick in complete index so that people could on a whim look up information very, very quickly. 
So it seems to me, though, that one of the challenges that we provide you as, as the creators of Camtasia Studio is that we're always updating and always trying to change the product to make it better. And that obviously Oof, catches up it. to you. <laughs> uh, so I guess in that process, what, what's been the, the things about Camtasia that have changed that you have found to be the most helpful as someone who, you know, is obviously teaching people this a lot. You're, you know, you're in writing about it. You've got these workflows. What, what things have you found to be really helpful for you as a user of the product, but also for those who you work with? I really like the fact that um, TechSmith has been incorporating requested changes from users, particularly in the area of callouts. I'm finding that more and more of my work over the past few years, I've been able to take out of third-party applications like Adobe After Effects and that I can basically for at least for tutorials stay almost entirely within Camtasia Studio and I'd like to see it go even further with maybe some some animated intros and outros and uh, maybe some other things that um, that we can do but my biggest um, thrill is just seeing the product become more stable more specialized at what it does more streamlined where things that used to projects that used to take me three days to complete now only take one that's, well, that's fantastic I appreciate those things too it definitely makes it nicer now with the changes and things coming up um, we've been waiting for the the next copy of the book and I and I understand that you've been working on that so I, tell us a little bit about what we can expect you know if maybe I bought early on the for, the, for version 4 or something why why should I upgrade what should we expect in this new version well, the new version is completely different because it's all digital. Uh, we had, um, there was sort of this uh, big drama with the publisher where I had an original publisher and then that publisher got, got acquired by a larger one. And uh, I worked with that larger publisher for about a year and then they suddenly decided to go in a different direction and ended up dropping almost all of the titles that they had acquired, including mine. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I have all this wonderful content and people keep sending me emails asking me when the next version is going to be out. So clearly there's still a demand. What am I going to do with it? So I opted to take it entirely digital. So Camtasia Studio, the definitive guide is a paper book, um, has ceased to exist. But in its place, there's going to be a digital copy uh, that works just like a regular book. And then you click on a page and, you know, you get the little animation where it flips pages and but it's got all the advantages of being digitized easy searchability for one uh, another cool thing is that when you're dealing with paper books full color printing is really prohibitively expensive unless you're talking about um, you know art coffee table books um, but printing those is out is outrageously costly and the cost of those books to the end consumer reflects that so it but seems like it's going to be a digital, lot more, oh, sorry, I, I was going to say, it seems like it's going to be a lot more rich and, and just and of an experience to go through A lot it. more rich and colorful because a, a computer doesn't care uh, be, between grayscale and color in terms of cost. So, you know, lots of color. And another cool thing that we can do is, you know, with screenshots in a paper book, you have to shrink them way, way down and... You know, but yeah, you got people squinting at them thinking, OK, you know, what is that little button again? And um, one thing that we've been able to do is to have um, let the pictures be blown up. In other words, you see a screenshot on the page, you click it and then you have this neat little lighthouse effect where it blows up full size uh, so people can really see what's going on. And well, a final advantage is that I'm peppering screencasts throughout the book that are going to get called from a server. So it's not like, you know, I'm bloating the book with a bunch of screencasts. It's going to get called um, from the web. And rather than simply talking people through a procedure like I did with the paper book, now I can say, OK, here's what you do. Boom, 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 boom. Now see it in action. And I show them a screencast. So they really get the best of both worlds. They get the text and they get um, they get video. Well, it sounds fantastic. I, you know, I appreciate having those type of resources, especially screencasts, because then 
I'm sure what it would take multiple pages to explain a procedure you can do in just a couple minutes. Um, so if right. I, I understand the book's not well, it's not out yet, but if I wanted it's to go about... It's not out yet. It'll be, it'll be ready by the end of the month. Um, all the writing is done. All the, screen ca all the, um, the screenshots are done. Uh, most of the screencasts are done. It's just a matter of laying it out. And as I used to have a publisher who took, did that step for me, it's been a little bit of an education. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling my way through it, and I'm very confident that we're going to wrap it by the end of November. So if, if I was interested in, in picking that up, though, uh, what would be, how would I get informed about when that was ready and ready to go out to me? Uh, the best thing you could do is pop over to my site, which is dappertext.com, and um, sign up for our newsletter, The Screencaster, which in addition to announcements about the book, well, is also a key to really great newsletter content about the use of Camtasia Studio and TechSmith products and screencasting in general. And uh, we're really ramping up um, work on the screencaster. We've got a lot of really good content ideas, and uh, I'll be plugging away on that. Well, it sounds fantastic. So, again, that's dappertext.com. They can go and yes. sign up for the newsletter. Um, I guess, do we have a, a perspective cost that you want to talk about? What that's for picking it up or uh, not the, quite there yet? No, the book will cost uh, $49. And uh, there, you know, with this organization that I'm working with that's setting up uh, all of the e-commerce um, that specializes in e-commerce for books, they've got some DRM on it. But I hate draconian DRM as much as anybody. So I always, when they give me a choice, I always lean toward being as lenient as possible. So that money buys you activations on three machines, um, you know, just because I wanted to be, you know, sort of cool about it and leave room if you're, you upgrade your machine or get to a new one or want to put it on your computer at home in addition to work. I don't want to have a problem with any of that. So I give people three activations. I don't cripple printing in any way. So assuming you have enough toner and paper, you could print out the whole book. If, if you, you want to. to. <laughs> if you want to. You probably need a dedicated backpack just to lug the thing around. But um, So I think we provide uh, really, really good value for the money. Right now there's another um, training product on Camtasia Studio out there. Um, my buddy Lon Naylor puts out an all video version, um, uh, a training tool for Camtasia studio and that runs about $300. Uh, and even, uh, even that I don't think is outrageous if you're really serious about getting up to speed on a particular software product in a hurry. You see, I don't know if this is just my temperament or just what I've learned being self-employed for the last seven years. But over time, I've come to view my time as having an intrinsic dollar value. Certainly. Most people don't think that way, and they should. Uh, because when you pick up a guide like mine and you work your way through it and you do the exercises and you have it there for reference, a project that might take you two weeks could only end up taking you three days. Um, yeah, it's definitely a big, so I, a big I time saver. You know, that's well worth the cost of admission. So, well, Daniel, we're looking forward to the book coming out. We can't wait to see it. And we're, we're excited about the possibilities. Me too. That, what? Me too. Yeah, we're excited to see it and have it come forward. Um, so again, that's dappertext.com. You guys can go out and check that out. We'll have a link on our website so you can go sign up for the, it's called the Screencasters, the newsletter, correct? Yep. So go, go out yes, and sign sir. up for it, get announcements and other great tips. Daniel, I really appreciate you spending some time with us. I know it's uh, in, cutting into your, a little bit of your evening there over in Spain, but thank you so much for joining us. Oh, no worries whatsoever. Yeah, it's about 7.30 over here, 7, 7.30. So. But yeah, anytime, invite me back, I'll come. We'll definitely do that. So thanks again. We're going to wrap this segment yeah. up, but we're going to move on to a quick commercial. And we come, when we come back, we've got some things from a uh, power tip from our tech support department. So we'll see you in just a minute.